three, two, one. You guys already know why I'm here. You can see the thumbnail and the title. Today, we're doing a quick review on the Puma Clyde. This one in particular is in collaboration with Ruigi, of course, a designer known for starting the brand Rude. Not the first collaboration between Puma and Ruigi. They had a couple of collaborations prior to this, so this kind of seems like an ongoing series for Puma and Ruigi. Basically having Ruigi take Puma classics Kind of put his own twist his own spin on that this time we get the puma clyde a classic sneaker with a ton of history I believe these go back to like 1973 when they initially worked with walt clyde frazier hence the name of the clyde these sneakers have quite a bit of history in basketball as well which is really cool i won't get in too deep into the history of the sneaker let's go ahead and look at the shoe we're talking about here today so as you can see, you have a tumbled leather upper and also a vulcanized midsole. The Puma logo on the side is in sort of a suede or a new buck type material. And what I love about this pair in particular, this pair has a contrasting white toe, contrasting against the primarily the blue uppers on the sneaker, as you can see. So you have the Puma branding on the tongue as well as on the back heel tab. On the mid side of the shoe here, you'll see the Puma Clyde with the little Puma logo. Very nice and sort of like a gold lettering. Just a classic, classic sneaker. Definitely a slimmer profile. The quality on these is definitely improved from just your regular general release pair of Puma Clydes. Leather on here is very nice. It's very soft, much better than the leather that I've been experiencing from other brands like Nike and Adidas, at least on their general release shoes. The inside of the shoe is well is also lined with leather which is nice and the insole also has a really cool design again with some puma branding inside that as well i'm not a person who really cares too much about the box or the packaging but i think puma and Rigi did a really really good job on the overall design of the box and the packaging on this here is the lid of the box kind of like a striped design you have puma select and then also a circle logo that says Ruigi. Really interesting details on here. This Ruigi logo is actually really cool too. Kind of reminds me of like a BMW logo. The overall color choice and the design of the box looks really dope in my opinion. And the lines going across it kind of tie in the design of the insole of the sneakers as well, which I thought was a really nice touch on these. So overall, very, very clean sneakers. I mean, you can't go wrong in general with a pair of Puma Clydes as an everyday sneaker. Certainly these collaborations with Ruigi have definitely taken Taken a step up as far as the materials and craftsmanship go. So all in all, definitely worth the price point in my opinion. I'm actually kind of happy that these aren't hyped at all. I see them sitting on multiple retailers, pretty much a full size run aside from maybe like the really small sizes like a five, five and a half in men's. If I can get a sneaker I'm interested in with no hassle, no resale, I'm all here for it personally. I'll definitely have some on feet shots so you guys can see what these look like and I'll probably try on different pairs of pants and shorts so you guys can get an idea of how these actually will look on feet. I picked these up on Essence. I believe they were like $110 or $120. Varies a little bit based on the retailer that you end up picking these up from, but definitely, like I said, a quality pair of sneakers and definitely worth the price. I'm even interested in picking up the white pair just because these are just so clean in person. Like I said, this isn't the first collaboration that Ruigi and Puma have done. And this is also not the only collaboration that Puma has done with the Clyde specifically. There's a couple other really dope collaborations. So if you're interested at all in the sneaker, don't limit yourself to just looking at these. This is definitely an underrated shoe. That's not getting enough attention at the moment. Who knows? We'll see what happens in the future. Either way, a great everyday pair of sneakers to add to your rotation. Yeah. 